More parents are keeping tabs on their kids. According to the Pew Research Center, 16% of parents use cell phone monitoring apps to track their teen's location. That opens up a lot of questions about privacy and boundaries. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we hear from parents, students, and experts about whether or not tracking your teen is a good idea. The world can be a scary place. The case of Molly Tibbetts left many people feeling uneasy. One way parents feel more secure about their kids' safety is by keeping track of their every move. There are lots of options. If you're looking at Google Maps or sharing your location, um, for other younger kids, you have a tile that you can place in, into a shoe so that way you can see their GPS coordinates. If your kid is old enough to notice a tracking device underfoot or a gizmo tracking bracelet like this one, you may want to consider an app. Associate Dean of the Beacom College at Dakota State University, Ashley Potterotsky, says there are several features on smartphones and apps available to download. Some cost money and others are free. See if she goes uh, beyond an area that she's not supposed to go as well, so that's pretty nice. We decided to ask students at DSU what they think of the new tracking trend. I would have no issue with it personally. Why is that? Uh, I trust my parents. I know they wouldn't be doing it just to bother me, but uh, they would just do it in case like, I would essentially go missing. I think as a college student, I wouldn't want to be tracked. Like, because I, I consider myself an adult. I can, I pay bills now, you know? So in high school, I can see where that's a little more like acceptable. It's scary and I don't know, your parents, like obviously you're like literally the most important thing in their lives. So like having that and even just like reassurance, like even if nothing ever happens, like just being able to like be reassured that they're okay. As a parent, it's more out of concern than not trusting them. You know, if they don't come home and they say they're supposed to come home, I want to know where are you. Erica Colm is a master's student at DSU. She's also the mother of quadruplet teenagers. With three girls and a boy all the same age, she has a lot to keep track of. I just like she does that with an app. Do they know? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I wouldn't do it without talking to them about it first. It, I just don't think that's right. You know, it seems, especially at their age. You know, when they're little, it might be a little different. But at their age, no, I wouldn't do it without having that conversation. One student we talked with actually tracks his parents. Ezra Chona uses Google Maps to help his parents navigate their trips back home to Rochester, New York after dropping him off at school each year. They have a GPS but they're not very good at using it and so they'll call me and say hey do you know where the gas is so I'll like, hop on my laptop pull up the location and I'll know what road they're taking and so then I'll just pull up with gas stations in front of them. It's not so innocent for some. It's actually a complicated topic for a lot of families. A Vera outpatient therapist, Amber Lehman Myers, says this isn't something you should take lightly. It kind of evolves the, the question of do you want to be the helicopter parent that's constantly on guard and it's mainly your anxiety speaking versus um, your concern for your kids well-being. She believes communication is key. Get to know your kids on a deeper level so they feel comfortable telling you what they're doing and where they are more often. Then you can have the conversation about tracking them. It can be really challenging to want to have your independence, to want to have your privacy and trust um, when your, your parents are involved in every detail of your life. Obviously, I don't want to be tracked like without knowing. So like having at least a heads up of that they want to do that would be like the biggest thing for me. It's about safety, that it's not about spine and um, that you just want to make sure that your kids are okay. They know and, and they know how to get around it too if they want to. So um, I just always think communication is the best thing for everyone because it's not necessarily about trust and if you don't talk to them it's going to look like it is about trust. If they're not okay with you having like one of those apps on your phone or whatever then just like letting them know like where you're going to be or like if you're going to be somewhere or like leaving with some friends or by yourself like that could be like a in between like compromise to like if you don't want like actually be tracked all the time. <laughs> and Colm says she will stop tracking her kids once they go off to college. Therapist Lehman Myers says it's best to give your kids more independence the older they get because eventually you do have to let go. 